With only 10 points to go, I knew that picking up camo was the key to victory. And boy did it pay off when I took out my first prey, Jazzy Hen 69. But my success was short-lived as I made a fatal mistake by standing right here. How, bro? I was full shield. I let my team down. I let Sloth Nation down. But most importantly, I let the Halo Gods down. I spawned back, ready to redeem myself. But the gods had other plans. Naturally, they punished me with a brutal beatdown. Or not so brutal beatdown. Fire over there. It left my pride shattered. But I wasn't going down without a fight. I asserted my dominance with a satisfying beatdown in my next life. But it just wasn't enough. Time was running out. I redeemed my aim and took out the guy who killed me with camo. It was a perfect. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to secure the win, and we lost the game. Defeat. But I couldn't help but wonder, how does one use cover effectively in this game? Why did I stand right here? No! It was a simple game on Aquarius that taught me how to use cover. Okay, the secret to using cover that pros use? It's patience. That's right, patience. I mean, just look at me. I'm standing in the wide open. At any point, I can go left, right, or back, and I'll be safe. I'm like a ninja ready to strike. Except I'm in the wide open. And check out this guy over here, hopping away like a bunny. He may be fast, but he's not very smart. Yeah, Meanwhile, I'm still here, and I haven't taken any damage yet. And I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Oh my god, one shot B2. Yeah. Sure, I can't finish for shit, but... Hey, damage leads to assists, right? Of course, being patient is easier said than done. Sometimes you just want to get thrusting. And that's where I made my mistake. See, I got a little too excited and decided to thrust my way out of my little hiding spot. It wasn't really much of a hiding spot because I was in the dead open, but what I failed to consider was that I was thrusting right into a spot where I knew there were enemies. It's like I was saying, hey guys, come, come shoot me in the face. I'm right here. Ah, Aquarius, the map that separates the jumping gods from the mere mortals. And unfortunately, I fall into the latter category, but what I do love about this map is the ability to quickly jump to various spots. Too bad I suck at jumping. But even if you're not a jumping god like me, you can still use cover to your advantage, and that's exactly what I tried to do when I saw a threat. I dropped down, prepared to get behind cover. And I was doing a good job. It was clear where the bullets were coming from, but what wasn't clear was the enemy's position, and that's when something just turned in me. Maybe it was fear, maybe it was just stupidity, but suddenly... I went dumb. And what does that lead to? Getting shot in the back. What's even funnier is that I didn't even bother to go left or right. I just kept running down this open hall like I was a crazy Karen shopping on Black Friday. So learn from my mistakes, guys. Never run down an open hallway unless you're ready to take cover. And if you see me doing it, just shake your head and say, that's the sloth man for you. Always finding new and exciting ways to get himself killed. But the beauty of Halo, when you die, you come back to life like a phoenix rising from the ashes. That's exactly exactly what I did when I noticed we had the numbers game. All three of us are here. One's at Yellow Fridge. He's by himself. Yellow Fridge. I told my teammates because let's face it, they don't have eyes on the back of their heads. I point out the enemy, use the power angle, but the enemy wanted to shock us, which by the way also made me weak like a little kitten, but it brought my teammate closer to me, both physically and emotionally. I hope we don't, we don't get capped. Okay, <laughs> maybe not emotionally, but you get the point. We both use cover effectively. I'm gonna push P1. Is he still in Fridge? I need communication. Right above you. Yellow base, that's what I'm pushing, yellow base. Unfortunately, my other teammate still didn't know how to use cover, and I was left to fend for myself. But hey, we got the trade, it all worked out in the end, it was time to prioritize camo. And of course, being the expert Halo player that I am, I was going to expertly thrust my way to victory. But my teammate's grenade had other plans. It was like a little grenade demon saying, Surprise, motherfucker! And just like that, my dreams of camo domination were shattered. Now remember when I mentioned patience? Yeah, I'm not using any patience here. Luckily, the guy I'm about to fight are both just dumb, okay? We stand in the middle of a doorway and just suck damage from grenades until we climax. I mean, I mean die. Now I know this might blow your mind, but imagine if Halo had health bars. Crazy concept, right? Well, even without health bars, it's important to try and do a damn good job of evening the playing field by taking your time and using cover, slowly chipping away at each enemy's health, which is what I'm trying to do here. Help at Yellow Fridge. 
Can you push my two guys? What's my reward for all that hard work? My teammates ignoring my calls for help like I was a telemarketer trying to sell them something. But hey, I wasn't going to let that stop me. I kept fighting, kept dodging, kept weaving in and out of cover. And then it happened. I died. And not just died, but died in the wide open. Like a deer in headlights. It was like my brain just said, hey, you know what would be a great idea? Let's just run out into the open. See how many bullets we can. And of course, my teammates were nowhere to be found. But you know what they say, if you want something done right, do it yourself. So I respawned, dusted myself off, and went back to work. I see that P1 ping, I'm gonna push you. And this time, I was going to do it all by myself. With no help from anyone except... Above, above us, he's above us. Maybe my teammates and the trash on the other team who can't seem to kill me. Thanks for the assist, guys. So after taking out the trash, it's time to thrust out of there and take the high ground. I've got my teammates to the right, I'm feeling good, ready to figure out where the next wave of enemies are. Let me tell you, cover is not just about blocking bullets, it's about blocking fuse too. Which is what I'm going to do right here. See, I'm using the left side of cover to obstruct any views from the left, while I wait for the next poor sap to stroll into my line of fire. And what do you know, there he is, standing in the wide open like a tourist in a theme park. But it's time to get serious now. I need to figure out where the rest of the enemies are. Blue, blue you, blue you, two blue you. And just when I think I've got it all figured out, I get godnated. So now I'm playing like a rat, scouring the floor for any scrap of safety. Yeah, blue court, one shot. Just when I think I'm in the clear, I push a little too far out. And suddenly there are two guys on top of me. Let me tell you, it's not a fun position to be in. It's like being the last slice of pizza at a pizza party and everyone wants peace. But hey, at least I went down fighting and that's what counts, right? Oh boy, here we are, halfway through the game and we're getting our butts kicked. But hey, no big deal right? I mean, it's not like we're on YouTube or anything. Oh, oh wait, we are. Well, shoot, guess we better turn things around. But seriously, can we talk about my movement for a second? It's like watching a newborn draft try to walk. I really need to watch more Shyway videos. Now let's take a look at my strategic genius. Check out how I'm only allowing enough space for grenades to come through the door. Blue mushrooms, blue mushrooms, weak. And if I have grenades on the right side, where do you think my opponent is going to be hiding? It's like shooting a fish in a barrel. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, people. <laughs> Why is that so hard to say? I, I just suck ass. I suck ass. Sorry. It, okay, okay. They're all dead. We, we won that one. We won that one. But wait, there's more. Perfect shield management. What I want you to do is when I take this next 1v1 is pay very close attention to how little I move. I know I have the first shot and maybe half the second shot. I don't really need to move much. Let aim assist do the heavy lifting. Speaking about shield management, I see this guy one shot, so I take him out. I'm ready to fight again, but now we're gonna use shield management even better. See, I notice I'm one shot, so I back up and hug the wall to my right. I trust my strafe. I may not have won the fight, but I did my damage. Now, if only I had used cover effectively after that and continued to hug the wall to my right and trust my strafe, but oh no, I had to go and jump into the wide open for a predictable headshot. Smart move, genius. Now this is one of my favorite areas to spawn because of all the angles you have on top of the cover. The next time you spawn here, remember this. You can see top middle, your courtyard, P1, and of course, shocks. I have so many options on top of having the high ground, but they can shoot my legs. So once the coast is clear, I know I gotta get up top, right? Get the high ground. Nice, nice. Down one, down one, down one. But this is not a challenge I want to take, so I drop down, get the cover, now I'm just gonna go get my pistol, guys. But hey, when you push too far, you gotta know when to back up, just like in a relationship, am I right? Oh, and here's a pro tip, folks, when going through a doorway, always remember you can back up. So we still want this high ground, but after I spot Mr. Sneaky Camo over there, I immediately back up. But why do I run across the open here? I have cover behind me, a teammate in blue base, and uh, I guess it's just pure stupidity at this point. Oh my gosh, a yellow till one shot, one shot. It looks like time isn't the only thing that's running out. Our chances of winning are slipping away too. Oh, and they just got another kill. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. Blue base, blue base, they just spawned in there. And now they're four kills ahead. Pushing here would be the wrong move though because of the lack of cover. But maybe if I can get up high another way, I can turn the tide. When you have the heat wave, walls are your best friend, but let's not forget the importance of its range. So I jump here and try to obstruct the enemies in blue base view by using the planners. And oh look, my enemy is a mile away, perfect. I guess it's time for plan B, which is trading kills. We're still down four. Now I wanna show you something really cool. Look at this tiny angle you have. It's perfect because you have cover to your left and cover to your right. It's a great angle and I got a guy pushing me. Unfortunately, I suck and I'm gonna nade my teammate. Need help? I just needed you, I'm so sorry. It works out, we got the kill. We gotta move on, we gotta move forward. Yellow fridge. 
Now I need to figure out where these enemies are, so I'm gonna throw one over there, and then look at this angle. It hits perfectly, and I know I have a ping to my right with three guys, so this is the last guy. I need to be very careful with my shields here, and I'm standing just outside the doorway, that way no one can hit me from the base. I'm looking at the kill feed, I see we have the numbers, it's time to push, 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 and we end up getting a full team wipe. Nicely done. That's the lead, guys. That's the lead. In situations like this, they gotta come to us here. You want to make sure that the enemy makes the mistake before you do. Shock, shocks. Anyone got nades? I need to back out of that situation because if they hit me with shock grenades, I'm gonna die. And they literally did right here. I need to back up. I don't need to explain to you how deadly these shocks are when they do chain damage, but they absolutely destroy nice. you. Way to play our lives there. We're playing our lives. We're playing smart. Now this is going to be the best tip I can ever give you. Look at the shadow on the wall. Just like that, one more kill to go. Came on one. And you know what was key in that entire situation? We can just bait it, we can bait it. It was just being patient. And that's all we're doing for this final kill here. We're being patient, and my teammate picks it up. Nicely done. Good job.